Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. For over 50 years, makers of America's finest ready-to-eat cereal, Nabisco shredded wheat, and dozens of your favorite cookies, such as delicious chocolate marmalade, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Politan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. My, you're a long way off. Fran! Yes? Oh, I'll talk to you a minute. Coming. <laughs> Ooh, you got a long trip to make. Yes. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Fran, I want to check everything. <clears throat> I did want to talk to you about something rather personal about the party tonight. You want to take me to the party? Oh, yes, we're all going together. Oh. Okay. Naturally. Well, we all have to be there before the guests come because it's uh, we are sort of hosts, you oh. know. And there are going to be a lot of important people there tonight, you know, and a lot of the press and many executives and uh, network officials, and we must be very, uh, uh, very uh, polite and very hosty. You know, well, I know charming that. friend. You're not going to wear that, are you? Well, no, no. Oh, well, right. what's wrong with Well, you? I like it very much, Fran. It's very nice for afternoon. Well, but it's, uh, it's not right for the evening. Now, uh, we must all do our best to help entertain. We must be glamorous. Remember, we are show folk. And they express us, expect us to be very glamorous. Oh, I think that's kind of silly. Mm -hmm. Why can't you? Now, listen, there's something I want to talk to you about. Jack, are you wearing your tuxedo tonight? Oh, uh, yes, Holly. That's good. Uh, something I wanted to talk to you about, about Ku Klux. It doesn't seem to impress him. I mean, the party. No. He hasn't been getting dressed or laying out his shirt studs or anything. I'm a little upset. Uh, why did you ask Jack to wear that tuxedo? Because he's wearing dresses. The only one he has is the one that he used in the band, and it spells out on the back the Mississippi Serenaders. I don't think that's the same. He's going to sit with his face to the front oh. all the time. Oh. We have potted palms all around him. What did you tell Cooper? Did I didn't. Did? Well, I just asked him why, and he said, oh, well, he'd get ready, and then all good time and everything. I think, you know, we've got to do something about presenting Kukla. He doesn't, I mean, now we go and we have family and background. Now, for instance, I can start and talk to somebody about Vermont and my family. You can talk to somebody maybe from Iowa. You know, you can bring, but Kukla, he doesn't talk about anybody. Well, what he doesn't that? have to talk about anybody because he, he can talk about almost anything. Yeah, but I wish he would, you know, if he had a family or something, it could help him entertain or, or maybe he should get married. That'd be a good idea, you know, have a real glamorous girl, you know, on his arm, you know, that'd really help. That always I don't helps. know, I, I don't think I'd go for that particular suggestion. Cook and I usually go places together. Well, I know, Fran, but that, you could, he, you and he couldn't get married that. that his wife might like... not like you. Yeah. And then I'd have to stay at home. Well, I never thought of that. And you couldn't take who you wanted to then because you'd have to take me. I wouldn't mind that. That's a good solution. <laughs> really? But I don't think it would work just like that. I think if you could just have some... Family, you know, if he had his his mother, or, but of course he doesn't have a. Mo I knew you shouldn't have talked that way. I know he's heard you. You've heard his feelings. Oh, I don't think I don't think he even heard me. He probably won't even go to the party. Oh, sure he will. But if he just had somebody, you know, who was a sort of a old background, well, you need that sort of thing. You maybe know. he could rent a companion. Think he could? I don't know if you can or not. Cook. Can rent I'm, I'm busy uh, right now. Uh, someone at the door. Someone at the door? Oh. Who's visiting us in Brooklyn? I don't know. My goodness. We yeah. can hardly find the studio. How can anybody else find it? <laughs> They've been here longer than we have. I had a friend who came tonight to the show to see us. You know, just stop by the studio and say hello at the rehearsal time. And you know what? What? He lives in Brooklyn. He had to go all the way back to Manhattan in order to get to Brooklyn. I mean, where really? we are. Yeah, he had to start all over. He got all confused. Well, I can see where he was. Cook? I, I'm a big place. Well, hello. How are you? Who is it, Who is it, Cook? Well, it's my uncle. Your uncle, really? Well, uncle. that's not his name, I don't mean. Hmm? Uncle who? Ask him to come yeah, up. Cook doesn't have any relatives. Well, he doesn't well, have... Uncle Al Cook, I haven't seen you for so long. Uncle Al Cook, how nice. Well, yes, you go up. I'm busy right now. I'm dressing for a party. But you go up and meet Ollie and the friends. They're on the show with me. This is like an answer to a prayer, almost. Here's one of... <laughs> how do you do, sir? Howdy. You're Uncle Al Cook? Yes, I'm Uncle Al Cook. Well, I don't... Who was this strange monster? <laughs> uh, I don't think you've met... Uh, Oliver Dragon. I'm a dragon. <laughs> Howdy! Well, Hi. and you are... Uh, well, I'm Fran. Fran! How do you do? Don't get too close to her. Well, uh, you just like got in town? 
Yes. I haven't seen my nephew, Kuka, for a long time. But he's a fine, upstanding lad. Well, we think very highly of him. Oh, yes. He's really upholding the family traditions. Except, of course, the, his mother and his father didn't want him to go on the stage. Oh. That's why That's why they haven't come to see him for a long time. I see. But I am trying to, to breach this... Uh, this uh, breach. I mean, I'm trying to heal over this schism. I see. Yes, so that they will be our friends again. And well, I, I didn't know that Kukla had any relatives. Well, he has never talked about them. He made a silent pact between them that they would never discuss each other because, uh, you see, uh, his family comes from a very socially prominent group and they're very wealthy people, multi-millionaires. I see. That's so. Well, uh, won't you take off your hat? Well, I can't stay very long. Well, my, my, and what do you do? I'm an actor. On what? On a television. Oh, is that so? Well, we don't have a television in our house. <laughs> no? No, we don't believe in it. Takes too much time away from our books. I see. And um, Kukla's father doesn't like it because it takes too much time from his counting his money. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go and see if his mother will come to see him. It would be a wonderful thing. Well, that certainly would indeed. Why do you bother? Oh, well, we, uh, we've heard that there's a very fine party being given tonight, and we thought it would only be fitting and right to go with our, our fine member, upstanding member of the family. Well, I know he'd be delighted to have you, and we, too, will be very proud to have you go with us. Won't yeah. we? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very fine. Well, I will see you a little while later, then. Well, thank you. Do come back. That's not his uncle. Well, he said he was well, his uncle. Well, it isn't. It's, it's Kukla. Oh. Well, it looks like Kukla. Well, why wouldn't he? He's his uncle. <laughs> They're a very close family. Didn't you just hear what Get he said? Get them both up here at the same time. Uncle Al Kook. Uncle Al Kook. Uncle Al Kook. See? Kukla, has your uncle gone? He's outside right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, why didn't you come up? Well, because I'm waiting here at the door for my mother. Well, come on up and bring your mother in. See if that works. Well, I I don't doubt it at all. Come on, bring your mother in. You come in at the same time, or I'll or I'll. What will you do, Sonny? Well, how do you do? How nice to have you here. And you're the lovely girl that Coco has always written such lovely letters about. Well, aren't I you? hope I'm she. I'm brilliant. Well, you certainly are a lovely girl. And I'm glad to see that my son has such. Fine choice of friends. Well, thank you. And it's you're the little alligator. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Uh, is that right? Well, I wasn't sure. Are you uh, the one that always bites my son's nose? I, I... This is Oliver Dragon. Yes, I have heard about you. Well, I don't want any more nonsense about that, or I'll come over with my whole ga family, <laughs> and we'll beat up on you. Mild looking little thing, but she's got great spirit. <laughs> we really get along very well, Mrs. Kukla. And uh, I I'm don't going know to look for Kukla. He's taking a bath. Don't disturb him. Uh. Oh, what were you going to say, my dear? I was just going to say, Mrs. Kukla, that I, I just want to tell you how very, very much we love your son. Thank and how you. we all look up to him because really... Without his wonderful administrative powers, I think probably we'd just all fall apart. But well, he has you're a very nice. Very nice. Oh, well, it's nothing. Really. I brought you a present. I'm just an old-fashioned lady, but I brought you a present I thought you might enjoy. Well, thank you very have much. Have you tried Nabisco's chocolate malamar? Well, yes, I have, Mrs. Cooper. They're great favorites around well, here. Well, then I needn't leave them with you. I'll take them with me. Well, you needn't do that because we'd like very much to have another extra package. Well, I brought several with me because I knew that at the party tonight that everyone would love Nabisco chocolate malamar. Well, what a lovely thing. Well, you know, I just wish he was home sometimes with us because I can remember when he was a little boy and I used to pack his lunchbox. I always had chocolate and malamars in them. Well, they're wonderful for lunchboxes. Yeah, they certainly are. He always wanted to have Nabisco chocolate malamars on the shelf. Oh, those were such lovely days. Well, he speaks of those days with fond memories. I'll, uh, I'll go and see if Kukla Ready yet? And I'll see you at the party tonight. You certainly will, Mrs. Cooper. Oh, uh, Miss well, Cooper, wait a minute. Oh, I'm going to be at the party. You'll see me later. I'm going to dance the can-can. 
does have quite a bit of spirit for an elderly lady. Wow! Isn't it wonderful? My cook will be just the talk of the party tonight with all his relatives. His uncle's quite distinguished. He looks sort of like a maybe a dignitary, a diplomat. I don't think it's the kind of a party you should really invite your relatives to. Oh, well, no, I think I'm... by all means that we have plenty of background, and who knows, I may run out of conversation about Iowa, and I can just then talk about Cooper with new love. Did you mean my mother? Yes. My dear, dear mother. She's just lovely. Cooper, Cooper. I don't think it's such a smart idea. Well, it's all going to be fixed. I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> yes, it'll be so wonderful when he walks in with his mother. Honey, I'll... I'll see you. I'll see you. Now, if it's really his family, I can't insult them. Why do I always fall for these things? I'm so gullible. I swallow anything, hook, line, and sinker. It's my old trouble. My old trouble is part of me. That troublesome trouble I'm feeling here in the heart of me. I'd conquer it if I could, but I am not made of wood. I'm fighting against my fate, but helplessly I await. My old trouble, my mystery. For without a warning it happens, striking so suddenly. I open my mouth and then it happened again Going down, down, down Down, down, deep down inside of me I swallow my pride again In fact, I swallow anything when My old, 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 old trouble Is back with me my mother thought you were an alligator. Oh, Coop. Wait, Fran. Yes. Um, Mother and Uncle Al Coop thought they'd meet us later. Is that all right? Oh, quite all right. Wow. Mother is so sweet. Remember what she sang to me? She said, Remember. The Nabisco seal on the outside means better flavor inside. Nabisco. Say, want some real ranch-style, range-riding energy? Latch onto a real energy breakfast of Nabisco shredded wheat. Yes, sir, Kukla knows a good thing when he eats it. Just add sugar and milk to a bowl full of those toasty golden whole wheat biscuits, and you'll be riding high right through to noon. Nothing flimsy about this. Nabisco shredded wheat is real honest eating. Packs a load of important food elements you need. Be smart. Be sure you get the package with a picture of Niagara Falls. That's the one and only Nabisco Shredded Wheat, America's finest ready-to-eat cereal. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Holstrom thanking you on behalf of Kukla's mother and all his relatives. <laughs> Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from New York by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. For 50 years, makers of America's finest ready-to-eat cereal, Nabisco shredded wheat, and dozens of your favorite cookies, such as delicious chocolate Mallow Mars. NBC Television. Mm.